what's going on YouTube? Back today with a new video of a authentic versus a fake. Today we'll be doing the Adidas Yeezy Boost 750s. The uh, some people call them the uh, the gum bottoms. Some people call them the uh, glows. Whatever you want to call them, it's the newest line of the 750s that came out. So to start this video, one pair in front of you is real and one pair is fake. Can you tell which one is real? Let's do a little closer up. Let's say somebody's walking up on you, they're wearing these, what would you say? Let's say they're wearing these, what would you say? You know, which person would you call out for wearing fakes? That pair or that pair? That pair or that pair? Have you made up your, your mind yet of which pair you think at first impression is real and which one is fake? Well, let's just do a little switcheroo. Had to, had to throw you a little curveball there. Now, those pairs were mixed up on purpose just to see if I could trick anybody. Now the correct shoe is with the correct shoe. Which one is real? Which one is fake? If you said that one is fake, you are incorrect. Those are fake and those are authentic. So let's do a little more in depth. Sorry for all the shakiness of the camera. I'm um, picking it up, putting it down, so on. But these are fake. These are real. And you're asking me, you know what? They both look pretty damn good. Let me give you a little hint. These are a size 13. These are a size 12 and a half. Here's the problem. If I pick them up, there's a little bit of a size difference there. 12 and a half, 13. So if you can have these in hand, you'd automatically would know ah, that, man, there's a size discrepancy here. These are probably actually like a size maybe 11, 11 and a half, not a 13. Fake. Let me show you some of these boxes. There is the fake box right there. There is the top of the real box right there. That's a little bit better. Let's see. Fake is on the bottom. Real is on top. If you look at just the labels itself, they're very, very hard to tell the difference. I mean, extremely hard. The fake pair, the label is a little shinier. You probably can't really tell, but the label is shinier. The font on these two are a little bit different, as you can tell, but all in all, these, uh, <laughs> These labels are pretty damn good. If you look at the box itself, you will see, let me see these back a little bit, you will see a problem. Boxes are different sizes. Not good. Fake, real. The fake boxes are smaller. And if you can tell, the color on them is a little bit different. The real one is a little bit darker uh, gray color. The fake one's a little bit of a lighter gray color. Uh, the fake ones came with these dust bags. They're kind of a shiny, I guess like a vinyl material. Very cheap. The real ones came with these. A um, little higher quality. They're not so thin. They're thicker and they feel more like maybe polyester or something. The paper and the fakes have a hint of like gold. The paper and the real ones have a hint of almost like a very light hint of green, possibly. So the box, as you can see, some pretty obvious differences in just the boxes. But looking at the shoes itself, bada boom, the color on the actual bottoms of the shoes are very close. The uh, the real ones are just a little bit lighter here, almost like a, um, a tangerine kind of color. 
the fake ones are a little bit darker there. The boost though, they're both uh, pretty spot on. This fake one, it's it's real boost. Like in, in an earlier video, I made a comment about that, how the counterfeiters now have perfected boost and they are making real boost now. You can no longer go by just the boost, people. Some of the people are still authenticating by the boost patterns. You can't, not anymore. Real boost, fake boost. They both have the same patterns, textures. The real boost is a little bit shinier, but that's it. Don't go by the boost anymore, people. You will be buying fakes. Um, the leather quality, the authentics have a little bit better of a suede. Um, the suede on these fakes are still, they're pretty good. They're not as thick. Uh, <coughs> the straps on top, the fakes, are a darker shade of gray. The authentics are a lighter shade of gray. The laces, pretty much identical. There's really no difference in the laces. Um, the backs of the shoes, um, the, the, uh, the fakes on the left are a little bit, uh, you can tell the, it's a little bit, eh, lighter gray, it looks like, in color. And you can tell right here that the suede on the Authentics are much more plush than the fakes. Um, the bottom of the shoe, good way to tell real versus fake. The fake ones, you push on it, it sinks in immediately. Real ones do not sink in. Fakes, real. Fakes, real. So you could just do kind of a push test on the bottom of the shoe and almost immediately tell which one is real, which one is fake. So that's good. Um, let's see, what else? The zipper on it, the fake pair, it's metal. It's got the YKK on it. Um, the insides of the shoes itself. Here's the authentic pair. They have this pretty much the same zipper. Here's the inside of the authentic pair. Leather here. Suede here. Um, kind of a, I don't know what you'd call that. Kind of material, polyester or something. But there's leather, very, very soft leather all the way the through the inside of the ankle cuff. Then on the top of it is a very soft suede for the real pair. On the fakes, the inside is leather. Actually, it feels more like pleather. It's not as soft, but yeah, the inside of these, this is more of like a pleather. And the tops here are not even close to being as plush as the Authentics. Let's take a look at them. You should be able to see a pretty big difference, hopefully, maybe. But the Authentics are so much more plush. Um, Let's see. Same until the inside. There's the inside tag of the fakes. And then here is the inside tag of the real. Take a look, take a look. So, all in all, I think the best way, let's say if you're just buying a pair um, off eBay or something, and you're unsure if it's real or if it's fake. Hmm. I guess the best way, the strap should be about the same color as the rest of the shoe. This strap on this one is very darker. It is much more darker than the rest of the shoe. Like a picture should be able to pick that up. The difference in the two that it is much darker strap than the rest of the color of the shoe. The strap is almost the same color as the shoelaces. Pretty close in here, not even close. So just buying it straight off eBay or off Twitter or something, you can go by the color of the strap. 
Um, the color of the bottoms should be, uh, let's see, you really can't, if you're looking at a picture, well, you can't really even go, go by that in a picture. I said the best way, buying them just from a picture, look at the strap, the color of, of the strap. Um, look at if there's, if you, if the person is able to, uh, change the suede so I can like change the, the color on it. And if you have them in person, just do the push test. If this thing pushes in like this, it is fake. Reels will not do that. You, you got to really push on those hard. The fakes is just plump. You can really push them in. They shouldn't do that. So, all in all, these fakes actually are pretty good quality. If you just warm around, people wouldn't be able to tell that you have on fakes. They wouldn't know. Um, if you want to spend a thousand bucks, eight hundred to a thousand on these, go for it. You know, if you want to spend a few hundred bucks on a pair of fakes, go for it. Whatever your budget allows you to purchase. Um, but hopefully this video was informative. It helped a little bit. If you have any comments, please leave them below in the comment section. If you have anything that I missed on these, I should have pointed out, hit me up below. Um, positive feedback or negative feedback. It's all good because I can learn. You can learn. We teach each other. I'm doing a sneaker giveaway when I hit 1,000 subscribers. I'm going to give away a pair of Jordan 11 Concords size 12. So be on the lookout for that video. Um, you can watch that video and do an entry with that video. I'll link that video into the description. And as always, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and everybody, have a good day.